Hey guys, welcome back to THFE. This is PsychoDuck, and I'm here with a competitive map. And uh, today we are looking at a map called Forget About It by Flying Shoe ILR. I can't wait to see some uh, used silverware puns out of that one. Uh, but anyways, if you want to know why the map is called Forget About It, I'm going to tell you to just forget about it. Okay? So, uh, anyways, some of you guys might recognize this map as it was briefly in matchmaking in the Forge Island Test playlist. But uh, basically what this map is, is a pseudo-symmetrical 6v6 map. Um, and by pseudo-symmetrical, I mean that it is functionally symmetrical, but it's got some definite uh, differences on the two sides uh, that you'll definitely notice. But it's a really cool map. It's got some really awesome segmentation. Uh, the, the way the lines of sight just work on here is great. Uh, so, anyways, at the start of a game, the thing I really like to do on here is to hop in the Warthog, of course, and uh, go over to the center of the map and try to control the rockets. So if you can, you know, be watching over these rockets, get someone on your team to push them, you know, and then use those rockets to take out the enemy hog while you're covering the rocket dude. Uh, it works really well. Now we kind of failed here, um, and of course having your sniper up, which we also failed to do, is also really important. So the sniper is actually on a pedestal right there, and on the other side it's actually a bus stop for visual differentiation. Um, but it, because this map's got this really cool uh, urban theme, and you'll see all kinds of cool stuff with that. There's a, a monorail track, uh, there's some buildings outside the map, there's a mid-city park, all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, anyways, yeah, you don't want to get shot in the butthole by your own sniper, it doesn't work so well. So, anyways though, um, this map's really great for capture the flag, and uh, you're going to probably want to play with five points to, to win, uh, because it's pretty quick, it's not that big of a map, and that's why it was actually in the 4v4 uh, playlist in matchmaking. But uh, if you look at the map from above, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's really straightforward, surprisingly, you know, it's actually very straightforward. Uh, map, but it works really nicely. Uh, the height variation is just perfect on here. You know, I'm up here on the top of the bases, and uh, my lines of sight out of you know that heightened area are all really limited, really well controlled. There's kind of a, a little platform up here on the right here uh, with a machine gun turret, which can be pretty effective, but it's also pretty exposed. There's fusion coils there, which you got to watch out for, and there's the big monorail track across the center of the map. So basically. On either side of the map, there's a hill next to the base. There's the dip in the center where the rockets are, and then uh, you know, so the the line of sight between the tops of the two hills are blocked by the the the, 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 the monorail track, and then the um, you know the lines of sight from the sniper platforms are blocked by the top of the hills. So if you really want to shoot into the the bottom center of the map with a sniper, you got to push up. It just all works out really nice. You know, just like I said, the segmentation is great, um, and, and you know, it's all just really nice. And then, of course, uh, as far as callouts and knowing exactly where you are on the map at any given time, you know, visually it looks really cool. So over here, I just drove past the bus stop. You can kind of see it there. Um, you know, the mid city park looks really cool, and there's just all kind of nice little touches like that. There's a couple of cool hog jumps. Um, you know, all kinds of really, really awesome stuff like that. So it's not. Uh, this map isn't the most crazy or unique in design, but it's just everything was executed really nicely. Uh, the vehicle paths are great, uh, the infantry paths are great because the map's not that big, so it's really easy to traverse on foot, get where you need to go quickly, uh, get you know really nice pushes up into the bases, which are really nicely designed, uh, and in general just get some really awesome objective gameplay. You can also play, uh, you know, like Extraction or I believe King of the Hill on here. Um, and, you know, Team Slayer is, of course, always going to be good. But uh, I would definitely recommend Flag. That's definitely the most fun as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, you know, it's just a really fun map. And yay for flying warthogs. Woo! Uh, those, <laughs> those are always fun. We had some pretty interesting shenanigans on here uh, throughout some of the testing. So, uh, you know, it's pretty fun. Um, and, yeah, so, you know, I, I haven't been able to feature a uh, big team map for a while. And I know this is a 6v6 map more like, and you can, you could even play a 4v4 on here if you really wanted, but, uh, you know, I still call it a big team map because it's still, a 6v6 is kind of the ideal player count in Halo 4 as far as I'm concerned anyways, uh, and, you know, it just works really well for, you know, big team style games with Warthogs and all that good stuff, so, it's 
It's a really fun map I really enjoy, so I hope you guys will too. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more cool stuff, and uh, forget about it. Bye.